I have at this point made my first blog post, and it's all about why is the North Star important? So I want to just take a moment today and share with you some basics of the night sky. First off, one of the main misconceptions is that Polaris is the brightest star in the sky, and that is not the case. Polaris is actually ranked number 49th if you were to take the stars and organize them by their brightness. Now, of course, the sun is the brightest star in our night in our daytime sky, and if we were to take that out of the ranking, then Polaris, the North Star, would be ranked number 48. So why is Polaris an important star for the nighttime sky? Well, it has a lot to do with its location. Polaris is known as the Pole Star, and so if you were to look at a, an image of Polaris over the course of the night, I'll open it up here in this window, you would notice that Polaris moves around a central point, but it is the closest star to that central point, which we call the North Celestial Pole. Now, it's not exactly on the North Celestial Pole, but it's very close. So when we take a long exposure photograph like this one, we see that it moves around, the sky moves around in a counterclockwise direction. So that's one of the most important things about Polaris. It is our pole star. And... If you travel to different places on Earth, uh, Polaris will be seen at different elevations or altitudes from your horizon. So if we we're talking about a coordinate system, um, horizon would be zero. Directly above our head, which is called um, your zenith, would be at 90 degrees. So I've got a little basic description here, um, and I'll work you through it, that here's the horizon at zero degrees, and as we go up higher, the North Celestial Pole is right around 40 degrees where I live in Philadelphia area. Now, um, so that was the North Celestial Pole, and Polaris is right next to that North Celestial Pole as we discussed. Now, if we were to change from 40 degrees north latitude to somewhere else, let's say Anchorage, Alaska, as we go higher in latitude, Polaris would appear to rise up higher and higher as we get farther and farther from Earth's equator. So as we go up to higher and higher latitudes, we find that Polaris rises higher and higher in the sky. So here at Anchorage, Alaska, Polaris is about 61 degrees from the horizon. That's an angle, so we're measuring from the horizon once again at zero. Angle up, um, and we can use a tool called a sextant to measure this angle, and that naval sextant was used for navigation. So with just by looking at and finding the North Star, which I'll make a second video here in a, in a few days, um, and we'll talk more about how to find the North Star. But if you can find the North Star, you can measure its angular distance from the horizon, and you can determine your latitude from that. And remember, the pole is at the very top of Earth, would be found in the uh, Arctic Ocean. So if we go all the way up to the North Pole, we would find that Polaris is now 90 degrees from the equator, um, and therefore it would be 90 degrees in your sky or directly over your head. So Polaris, once again, tells us our latitude. Now finally, if you were to travel to the equator, um, now Polaris is going to go lower on your horizon. In fact, uh, at the equator, Polaris would reach zero, and the sky would go from east towards west each day, and there would be no area around Polaris that moves in that counterclockwise direction. Well, in fact, it is moving counterclockwise. Uh, it just so happens that it's moving from the east over here towards the west, and it's a big area of the sky. And we'll talk later about the circumpolar region. There is no circumpolar region around Polaris at the equator. The circumpolar region's radius is equal to your latitude. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. If you like this video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell so that every time I produce a video, you'll get a notification. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and I will once again link those into the description at the bottom, as well as uh, links to my website and some of the other things that we've discussed today. Have a great one, and the universe is closer than you think.